Hi Sunday School friends, it's Mrs. Russo. Welcome to Crafts. Today what you're going to need is your pinwheel making kit and some markers. So you guys get those things out while I read you another story. This story is called God is Like. And we're going to go to the part about the Holy Spirit. Because we have been talking about the Holy Spirit for these last few weeks. We have one more week left where we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. And I want you to see this book because it's a really beautiful metaphor about who the Holy Spirit is. It's called A Breath of Wind. <clears throat> a breath of wind stirred the ashes of a campfire. Whiff! A tiny spark bursts into flame. Then the wind swooped up high into the treetops, swishing through the leaves, swaying the branches back and forth. A flying squirrel glided from one tree limb to another. The wind held him up. Oh, I'm skipping there. The wind quickened. It whipped up white capped waves on the lake. It pushed the clouds across the sky. It rushed a puffy white dandelion. It whisked off its downy seeds, sailed them through the air, and planted them far away. One of the seeds, like a tiny parachute, drifted down past the boy. He took a deep breath of air and blew the seed high into the sky. The boy pretended that he was fastened to a parachute floating high above the trees, going wherever the wind sent him. The boy walked down to the lake and pushed his sailboat through the water. He blew at it until it was out of he was out of breath. It moved slowly. Then it stopped. But a breeze filled the sail and carried his boat over the ripples. Hmm. The boy pretended that he was in a sailboat race. The wind swept him around the last buoy and to the finish line. He won! The boy sat on a rock. He took a balloon out of his pocket and blew his breath into it. He blew. And blew. He pretended that he was a lifeguard, like the one on the high lookout chair, and breathed his breath into a little boy and saved his life. The boy could not see the wind, but he could see the clouds sweeping across the sky. The wind brought him the smell of flowers. He could feel the coolness of the wind on his face and hear it whisper to him through the trees. And when the wind blew hard, he let it push him home. I wonder, could God be like the wind? Yes, God's spirit is like the wind. He does his work without being seen. The wind blows wherever it pleases. So it is with everyone born of the spirit. John 3, 8. So as we're thinking about all of these different metaphors of the Holy Spirit, I'd like to do one about the wind. So you're going to need your pinwheel, the, the cardboard part, yeah, like this. And if you want to keep the holes in there while you're coloring, you can. 
but we're just going to color it into different ways. And it's going to look so, so pretty when it spins. You can color it however you want. Some people say, let the spirit move you. <laughs> and what they mean by that idiom is you just let yourself be inspired. Be creative however you want. There's, there's no rules to how you need to color this. So let the spirit, God's spirit, move you however you want to color this. Now I've said before, but I kind of feel like God's spirit is a woman. And I frequently call the spirit she. Because I feel her power of inspiration in my life. I feel her encouragement and I feel her compassion telling me to be compassionate with myself and I feel all those things from the Holy Spirit and to me it feels kind of like a mother kind of like the mother and so I call her a her that's just me though everybody's gonna feel the power of God in their lives in different ways it's not gonna be just like mine it's not going to be just like your parents because God's going to use you differently than God uses me or them. And that's really exciting. That's why we like when big kids come back to St. Patrick's because we get to see how God's love is working through them in their lives. It's so, so fun to be able to see the big kids come back as grown-ups. And see how God's love is working through them. I'm just making this into a design like this. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of spiraling it around. <laughs> I think I'm at purple. Actually, I need to do indigo, don't I? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. That's kind of like a jean color. Indigo is next. Indigo. Do you know what's next after indigo? Violet. That's fancy word for purple. <laughs> Let the spirit move you just like a gentle breeze. And I'm actually going to keep that little, little piece of white, I think. I'm going to keep that little piece of white. Okay. And in the center, we have these other parts of our kit. Do, do, do. Now, you have this tiny little thing right here. Oh, I got two in my kit. Whoops, you only need one. Okay, this is maybe where I'll use my pink for the center. I'll use my pink here. Color this pink in. This is going to be kind of our the center of our flower once we start putting it together. Okay, now you're going to need to punch out those holes. So there's four holes at the corners. One, two, a three, a four, and one hole in the center. And there's even a hole in the center of your little center. <laughs> the center of the center. Okay, on your straw, you're going to put this thing that looks like a big long nose. That's going to go right on the tippity top. And now we're going to start folding this in, starting with the center. See? You're just going to put that center piece right on there. And now you get to decide kind of how this folds. It's probably going to go like this and stick onto the stick. And now this one's going to go like this and stick onto the stick. And this one's going to come back. And stick on the stick. And this fourth one's going to come back. And stick on the stick. <laughs> That's looking a little crazy. That's okay. That's okay. And now the um, centerpiece. Soup. Making sure it just goes all the way over this little nub. 
because then this tiniest of little pieces is going to go right on that tip, I think, to hold it all in. That's the little tricky part. You might need your grown-up to do it. Okay, now let's see. If we smush this all to the center, is it enough to be able to blow and make it loop? I don't know. It can't have any friction. Because even this pinwheel, even the Holy Spirit has trouble working if there's friction. <laughs> Mine needs a little bit of help. Mine has friction. I think I folded this one incorrectly. It looks a little backwards. And so look, see how it's pushing onto the stick right there? It won't move like that. But if I give it a stiff blow, it could blow around that way. I bet if you play with that a little bit and find a better way to fold it, I bet you can find a way to make that spin and spin and spin like the Holy Spirit moving in your heart, stirring you to show God's love and show the rest of us what God's love is up to.